Hi, Giselle. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Um, so I just want to ask you, you know, some questions so that we can, you know, grow and evolve as a business, get some feedback from you and see what you liked, what you didn't like, so we can improve going forward and just have a chat and talk about your experience. I am ready. Okay. Um, so my first quick question is just a, a little introduction of who you are and where you were before you you found us in your in your project. So my name is Giselle Serena. Um, I was lost before I found you. <laughs> um, I had just purchased this house um, back in June, which seems like not that long ago. Um, but we, there was an overwhelming amount of work to be done in the house. And I felt like I had a clear vision of what I wanted and felt crippled in how to actually execute it. Um, so seeking you, actually, I didn't seek you out until you sent, you had posted in a group on Facebook um, about having a free resource for kitchen designs. And I opted into receiving it. And you were so nice and not pushy about doing uh, a discovery call. And I'm so glad that I just did the 15 minute call because in it, I knew right away, this is what I needed to get unstuck. Well, I'm so glad you did that too. Cause I mean, it's been so nice working with you. Like, honestly, it's just, um, the ideas that you have and to be able to collaborate and your home is so special to you too. Like it really means a lot to you. So it, it's an honor to work with, with someone that really cherishes their home as well. You know? You. Yeah. And I've appreciated you cherishing my home and really <laughs> understanding that it's not just aesthetic, although that is a large part of it. Yeah. It was, uh, functionality, like how can the design incorporate like how you live every day so that it works for not just myself, but my family. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's been really important in the everyday work we've been doing. And it feels like a partnership. It's, it's something that, like you said, we do get to collaborate on. Um, and you are so wonderful with communication that. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, really, I don't. I don't know if I could have gotten through this without having someone there to constantly like throw ideas back and forth with, uh, because I am such a visual person, and it's hard for me to just visualize something in my home um, so abstractly, and so you bring it to life in ways that I couldn't have imagined. Well, thank you. It's um it, it it's nice to collaborate as as I go through the design process with clients, you know, instead of just having everything, you know, just doing it myself and not having much communication. I really do like communicating and working closely with clients. You know, as far as 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 long as they want to work, you know, as close or as far back as they want. But yeah, I enjoyed the project. But clearly I like a lot of collaboration. <laughs> it works for me. It's, you know, you have amazing style and, and the taste and your ideas for the home and what you wanted. And just to see, I know you're not 100% there yet in in everything coming together. And it's been a process, but yeah. but it's close. It's getting close. So yeah, it's exciting. Okay. Um, where were you at um, with your project before you came to work with us? Like, was it just, you were just thinking of ideas and you, like, I know you knew that you needed some renovation work done and some, you know, obviously to get furnishings and stuff for your new home. But um, other than that, then just knowing, did you have, um, were you doing anything before you started with us? Was I doing anything? I was um, planning and stressing. <laughs> so when I walked into this house, it was definitely a fixer-upper. 
uh, very much 1960s everywhere, wallpaper covering every inch of our walls. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so um, the only work that was being done was outside in the pool um, because that was priority in the summer. And because I felt like oh, so overwhelmed by the amount of projects inside of the house, I was just creating Pinterest boards um, and Google slide decks of right. uh, my inspiration and what I wanted and thought it could look like. I felt the house had a lot of um, charm, but it was definitely uh, stuck back in the 60s and I wanted to modernize it but still have a lot of vintage appeal that was true to like the traditional style of the home uh, but I hadn't done anything except for take up all of the rugs in the house see that we had beautiful wood on both floors under this yeah blue that was exciting dirty <laughs> carpeting. Uh, so after we unearthed that, I mean, that's when it was go time. Uh, and a vision for the home really started to uh, come into fruition. But I had done nothing before calling you except for the pool. <laughs> except for the pool, yeah. Um, what, what kind of challenges or problems were you facing before starting? Um, and how did we help you with that? Um, so I like I wanted a very high end looking home um, on a target budget, and um, I wanted to be able to make the house feel light and bright because it was very very dark and gloomy. Um, and so to live in that while I was you know, doing renovations and while you were designing a room at a time um, was very challenging in itself. Uh, but I think starting with the sun, we made our way around the house, ending with the kitchen. Um, and so starting in the sunroom and making sure there was like a really bright and feel good area um, that transformed, helped to make us like make each space livable until we got here. Um, furniture. I mean, it's been a supply chain nightmare ever since the pandemic started. Um, and so being able to have flexibility with you and say, this went out of stock. Is there something else that we could look into? You were mm -hmm. amazing at um, being able to find things that still fit the style and budget. Um, and that was key. So I think that if I had been doing this way before I was ready for renovations, then I wouldn't have had that on-call support to be able to make replacements in the way that we were able to just be flexible. Uh, mm -hmm. So you add an element of flexibility that I wouldn't have um, anticipated because I never thought I would even be able to have a designer, afford a designer. Um, but what I loved in, you know, early on was you were, you were upfront about pricing and how we could make it work for the project. And that has allowed me to add rooms on as we've gone on, uh, which I'm so appreciative for because it was able to work within our budget, um, over time and really, bring a sense of home one room at a time to to our house right oh, good that's that's really nice to hear that how we've added value to your project and you know that it's it really helped you so thank you yeah thank you um so i think it's safe to say you've enjoyed your experience working with us so far uh yes that's an understatement I have told many, many a person, uh, including my mother, that I could not, I don't know how I could design a space. Um, I've been a little spoiled, so I feel like I've told you already, like my master bedroom, the bathrooms, conquering the upstairs, you're never getting rid of me. That's I have okay. found such value okay. in, um, you know, like... Having a vision is one thing. And like I said, executing it is another. But mm -hmm. what you do is you, 
even if I came in here with a blank slate, you would have pulled division out of me. Uh, you have a really great um, ability to be able to do that. Um, yeah. And then make it even better than what I thought. And so I went back recently to my inspiration slide deck just to see right. how. Yes. And I, and I was like, wow, it, my home looks better than what my inspiration was. I would have never thought my kitchen could look like this. Oh, that's um, so nice to hear, actually. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah. I think your kitchen turned out quite lovely for, for all that entailed in, in, you know, the renovation and a little bumps along the way. I think that it turned out really nice. So, yeah. Yes. And so I don't think I would have been able to, I wouldn't have even known what to do if I couldn't have sent you videos along the, pro, uh, you know, along the journey to see if things were right. Sometimes I, I didn't actually know because it's not my field of expertise. Uh, until you pointed something out and really guiding me to be able to talk with all the um, different people involved in the project so that it could align to the vision. And having everything 3D rendered, I mean, your husband was amazing and um, being able to visually um, bring everything to life that I wanted in this space and that you designed for this space. Uh, so having that to continually refer back to was really key in making sure the process was um, smoother than what it, you know, it could have been a disaster. Um, and so having <laughs> having you by my side and having the 3D rendering uh, to continually uh, look back and refer to was critical to getting this executed. Yeah, I think that it really helps, you know, not just to to plan the design and all that stuff, but builders and, and contractors, it's really helpful. Like a picture is a thousand words, right? It's just, yeah. you could see it instead of, you know, some kind of verbal miscommunication or something, you know, an email or something like that, that it's, mm -hmm. the visual is good. So yeah, well, that's good. That's good to hear. I, I also like, and I don't know if this is a, a thing that you would love, but what it gave me when I talked to all of these different um, construction workers was to be able to say, well, the designer said this. And so <laughs> it was never, it made me feel like I had a barrier. Like I was just the mediator, the go between so right. that any frustration they had didn't come back to me. All I knew, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it made it a lot easier to communicate what the vision was without saying like this isn't what I want or expect. It's like, well, it's not what is in the dimensions or the 3D rendering. Uh and so being able to have something very concrete to fall back to was really critical. Yeah, for sure. I think that a lot of times too like, you know, installers um, you know, they'll come in and they have kind of their own idea, but they don't they don't understand the end result, like the, the design elements as much as, you know, the homeowner would like to think they do. So you mm -hmm. can tell them yeah. one thing, yeah. but <laughs> not how they interpret it. They, they have yeah. a different world and a different thing. So, I mean, yeah, that's good. Um, okay. What do you think has been your biggest aha moment since working with us along the way? Hmm. I think it was back. I'm sorry, that's my son above. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> um, I don't know if it was the biggest aha moment, but it was my first aha moment where we were looking um, for furniture in the family room. And... Um, we couldn't decide on an accent chair. And I had sent you, I had sent you a few of them like that I was entertaining and you instantly put them into a mood board and it made the decision so clear. We were like, oh wait, this is the chair and now we need to hunt it down. Um, it, it was exactly what I thought I, I never would have thought I needed that uh, or that I could have that, um, but, when you get to see it in comparison, like in the in the actual room um, with different snapshots, it just made decision making so much easier. 
And sometimes it's like that for me too, with mood boards, you know, I have maybe, you know, three different options of one thing. And I think, oh, that's definitely going to be it. And then, you know, when you see them all together, you see, actually, the one I was thinking I'd like the least, you know, yeah. turned out to be the best one. So that's, oh, good. that's good. That helps. And helpful. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice when you can see everything together, you know, it's really, I think that's important, not just yeah. have it floating around in your mind. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Um, okay. Um, what kind of results have you seen implementing the thinking and strategy since working with us? So just anything you could think of. So I feel like I think like a designer now. Oh. Like a skill set I have. <laughs> That's good. Um, so I always think through you know, what I love is that you didn't change my um, sense of design. Uh, like I said, you had refined it. Um, but now I just think in, okay, well, I have too many square shaped things in this space. And so I need to bring in some more circular shaped things. Um, and so it's just in listening to the way that you uh, explain decision um choices and options makes me go, oh, okay. I I thought that this would have been a really good option, but now I see why this one would be better. Um, so I'm constantly doing that. And another thing uh, was over accessorizing. You know, you had to tell me to slow down. I just wanted to accessorize everything and do everything all at once. But yes. with you saying to have the major pieces in the space first, Mm -hmm. Um, that was, a, that was probably another big aha moment in seeing how the shape, how the room starts to take shape, uh, once you put these big pieces in so that it makes it easier to find the little accent pieces to make Definitely. it, you know, the full look. Well, that's good. I'm glad that you, you learned something along the way too. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And I guess for the last question, um, how has this changed the way you look at your, you know, interior design or renovation projects going forward? Uh, well, I think of all the things I need you to do. So I look at the outside of my home and it's like, I want my outside of the house to look as good as the inside. And so I'm like, right. at some point, I like have a Jamie timeline for uh, <laughs> when I'm going to have different things in my home done. <laughs> <laughs> and when when I'm going to call you again, uh, because like I said, it, this has been truly um, and just a genuine value, right? Like I I underestimated what the role of a designer would be and could be. Um, I didn't even think that I would be able to have one for my home. Um, but just the ability to have a vision come to life um, better than I imagined, had, I couldn't even put a price tag on it. And my husband, he Thank does you. not like any kind of design, like he's not the person to collaborate with and go back and forth <laughs> with. Um, and so he has such an appreciation for you. Oh, um, thank you. Yeah, so when it came, when it came to like telling you, like, what I will give you reviews up the uh, mountains across the valleys, <laughs> I gonna make me and I have. <laughs> thank you. But I truly value what you bring um, to the design and how you just know the right thing that a space needs. Um, it's like you're, it's like intuitive. And so I value what that has brought to my home. I love my home. All week I've woken up and I've told my husband, he's probably sick of hearing it, but I was like, I love this kitchen. I just love oh. it. I just look at it. Uh, well, that's so good. You. <laughs> that's so good. I know that the kitchen was a little bit, you know, it's like any kitchen renovation. It's it's a little bit intense, but I'm so glad that you're, you're pleased with the final result and it turned out good. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, it's, I, I can't thank you enough for all your kind words. Um, it's been amazing working with you so far. And, you know, I do look forward to tackling the rest of the house. With you. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
the- I mean, you have done one, two, three, like five spaces. Yeah. And you've done the entire downstairs. Yeah, for sure. And so I would love to, you know, see the before and afters. I haven't really done that side by side to just really to show the yeah. transformation in this home. You yeah. brought it from like a fixer upper to a home I'm so proud of and mm. I want to show people. So thank you. Oh, well, that's the mission that we strive to do. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I think that's it. And I really do. Um, I look forward to hearing from you again. We'll go through all your lighting choices. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. <laughs> okay. Okay. Take care, Giselle. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you.